Everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Rexanon, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're again doing Arrow, and we're doing episode 12, and it's called Vertigo. But before we start, there is a lot of endorsements for Windows in here, and I like Windows, so I don't mind it. But I, I just I started seeing it. I was like, I started to see all the endorsement deals in here because I am a business major, so I can kind of see all the product placements because. Um, uh, when one of the classes I took, they suggested, like, check and see what endorsements they could do on, on this episode, on episode that, of any of, of any show. So, I saw it, I was like, oh, that's right, that's what I start seeing all the time, so, oh, they had an endorsement deal for that. And, um, so yeah, the, um, it's like the Surface Pro and one of the low, like, monitors and stuff like that. Anyway, back to the episode of Vertigo. Um... Oliver is starting out super furious because um, Vertigo was in his blood, was in his sister's um, bloodstream when they arrested her. And um, he goes after a bunch of drug dealers and he has one hanging by his jacket um, cuff. Just hanging, like, I don't know, like 20 feet in the air trying to get information. He said the uh, only thing he could, um, the dealer said was it was the count. And then um, we cut to Thea has to go to court. And then there's a media circus. And I really do like this scene because it's showing like a bunch of scrutiny and stuff and how like celebrities are always scrutinized by the media when they something bad happens to them, which I really appreciate from the show. And um, so they get in the courtroom, and the judge is very, very harsh on them, on her. And it's going to trial, and Thea's being a bitch because um, she's saying she's still very standoffish towards her mother because she doesn't know the full story yet, and she's super mad about it. And she's like, "Well, if I go to jail, it'll make her mad." Um, they say this later in, in the in the episode or whatever. But anyway. Then we have a flashback scene where Yao Fei can't do anything or refuses to do anything. Then we cut to um, McKenna Hall's intro for this. And it's like, um, so um, I was trying to get intro. He was trying to meet um, Hall. He thought some old man, but it turns out it's this beautiful girl called McKenna Hall. And he knows her from his past. So there's that. And then the count, so we jump to the count finding the dealer and drugs him with pure vertigo, which apparently stimulates the pain receptors in your brain. It makes you think you're in like in swishing pain, but you're really not. And so, um, drugs him, and so the dealer shoots himself because he gives the count gives him a gun, so like, you can shoot me for your revenge. Or you can set the pain by killing yourself, so he decides to do that. And so then we cut to Oliver, pops up at the apartment, at Laurel's apartment, and Tommy opens the door, which is kind of awkward. And then they have a discussion, but it's kind of not relevant. It's just a discussion, discussion. Oh, uh, he's trying to, uh, I remember what it was. I remember what it was. Um, there's a discussion to um, for Laurel to uh, you know try to talk to Lance to get him to get the sentence reduced because he knows people in the court system. Uh, so he go, so Laurel get, go ask um, her dad and Lance is like no. Uh, why would I help this punk out? Then uh, but he changes his mind because it's Thea and. He brings up, um, she brings up um, Sarah Lance was kind of like the same way, so that kind of softened him up, and so then she decided, he decides to help her. And then uh, we get introduced to, I think, the Bratva in this episode. I think it's the first time we're meeting them. I'm, I can't remember. No, I don't think so. No, it's not. They definitely did this in an earlier episode. My bad. But um, so, but Oliver uses Bratva connection. 
Faye has to kill a random person. And then um, we have a flashback where Oliver has to fight Yafe, but um, he didn't really fight that good. So um, then we cut to Oliver uh, killing the, the guy, but and take him out front. But he didn't really kill him. There's like this little trick where he does where he looks like he he, he looks like he's dead. And he has no pulse, but um, once you reverse the trick, he's living again. And so the bride club, of course, bought it, and um, they communicate with the count, and the count is interested. And then we cut to, because um, um, the whole thing, the whole point why they win is because um, Oliver is trying to create a scheme to get the dress from the count to get a description to take him down. That's basically why they're doing that. But um, they use it as a front, like he wants to buy drugs for his club, so they have a great feeling. And then we cut to Laurel showing up at um, the mansion, and Laurel gets the sense reduced, but feels being a bitch about it. She's like, I don't want it. We're going to go to trial. And she's doing it to piss off her mother, Laura Queen, and everyone's coming. <laughs> and then we cut to Oliver comes clean to. Uh, Thea about how Robert was unfaithful and Mora is uh, overheard and she's mad about it and she's like, you should have, you have no right to do that. And so then we go to the meetup but it's interrupted by the SCPD and Oliver goes after the count but um, Oliver gets um, drugged by the count and then we have a flashback of where Oliver gets beat up and dies. And then we cut to, um, well, first Oliver wakes up from the, um, a nasty hangover and to where, um, uh, Diggle gets some of the herbs from the island that helps him out to cure his, um, the vertigo. So he gets up and goes home and then he gets busted because the cops are there and, but he's not in trouble. So at least that's good. He wasn't in trouble. Because he's trying to help out his sister. Then, uh, then we cut to Thea apologizing to everybody. And then as Oliver goes upstairs, he has a little relapse. Because he still has the after effects of the vertigo in a system. And we have a flashback scene. But well, Oliver gets thrown off of a waterfall by Yafe. And then... We cut again to where Oliver gave a, uh, gave a very stupid excuse to Felicity. He basically gives her the syringe and saying, like, uh, I want to know what's in the sports drink. And um, she's like, uh, why is it in syringes? And he goes, I ran out of water bottles. <sighs> of course, he's hung over his shit, so, I mean... <laughs> Oh, excuse me. So that was very stupid. So then... Felicity finds out the water samples from a abandoned detention center. So they go there. And... To, to bust the count. And the police show up as well. And then Oliver has a fight scene with the count. And Oliver injects the count with the pure version of Vertigo, and then we cut, and then he escapes from the police, and then Thea uh, has to work 500 community hours with Laurel, and then we cut to the count going cray cray, and he's still alive, and the doctor say, like, I don't know how he's still alive with that much in his system, and then we have a flashback where Oliver is alive, and he follows a map. And then, um, ooh. then we cut to the present where Felicity and Oliver have a little moment. And she gives Oliver the book and said he got it from, she got it from Walter, who got it from Maura's house. And so um, that's where it ends. Uh, stuff is happening. And I really do like this episode. And that's the end of that one. Yay! 
So really, really good episode. Um, I'll give it an A+. Plus. It was a really good episode. You get to see Oliver go on a huge rampage. It basically destroys everybody in his path. Basically, got to dial it back. And you get to see Thera, um, Thea being a bitch, but then get a little nicer and trying to be, you know, less of one. And then you get to see her being um, more understanding towards her mother and all that type of stuff. So that's really good. And just the character develop developments in general are really shaping up very nicely. And the fight scenes, of course, are great. And to look like you're a drunk or hungover superhero is kind of funny to me. But he still kicked a bunch of ass, which I think was great. And really good um, acting on that part. Like, really good acting. So that's going to do it for me. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't, give it a dislike. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you want me to do other stuff? Because I do have more songs coming out that I've done. That I'm editing a lot. And that's it. Subscribe for more awesomeness from me. And I'll see y'all. Mm, in my next video. Bye, everybody.